Hopefully this thing's still recording. <laughs> I am procrastinating yet again. Actually the most hated A-frame trailer on the planet. A hand towel on the dashboard mount. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you guys just give me a break here? All right? This is obviously a professional operation. Tiberius, what are you doing, Dum Dum? What are you even parking at? You can't see anything. Is there a disturbance in the dog force? Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just sitting down to edit a video and I was looking through the footage and unfortunately due to me using manual lenses <laughs> in a lot of stuff, it was shot completely out of focus, which is unfortunate. But I still have a camera, so I can go ahead and splice this together. So this morning I spent the, the morning, not the whole morning, I was filming some stuff, but I wanted to talk to you about our casita and our friend, well, Kate has fe fe been featured most prominently, and her husband, Jay. So you watched part one of our last trip, which was just a couple weeks ago. And that, so we've all car camped for years and that made it, that last trip with five inches of rain in two days, made it very abundantly clear that they needed to up, up their game, basically. They really liked the casita we have, but due to some height issues, the casita wasn't gonna work like we have. So I hopped on Facebook Marketplace and I looked around and looked and looked and, and meanwhile Jay and Kate and their time off again, they're still fully employed and honestly have a lot of responsibilities. They went to some dealerships but couldn't really make it work and you know due to pricing and you know they just didn't find anything that really kind of fit their what they wanted. I went on they gave me carte blanche to go crazy on Facebook Marketplace and so I was hitting them with ads and you know this, that and the other thing. Well, I found a 2021, sorry for the, the talks, but I found a 2021 Forest River uh, A-frame trailer and it was appeared very good in the ad. The ad was well written, photographs were good, the seller, Gene, was very responsive on the, when I Facebook messaged her and that led to Kate and I during the work week jetting Kate up to and I, Vancouver, we're now Washington. In Washington. Congratulations. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Getting this trailer. We showed up and it was as represented, if not it's one of the few times I've ever responded to a Facebook ad where I went and purchased something that was better than what the ad was. And so a deal was struck. I would say that the price paid from Jay and Kate's perspective was probably half to two thirds of what you could have bought this at a dealership. This 2021 model, had you rolled into a, a RV dealership, was you would have thought it was a new trailer. It was, you, you know, it's it's amazing. So we're going on a shakedown cruise this weekend. Unfortunately, Dana has to work over the weekend, so she's not joining us. I'll be going solo in this. I shot some footage of me getting the trailer out. The trailer was basically prepped. Since you've seen a, a video of me doing repairs on it, both rear windows that had leaked have been have been resealed. And so it'll be a little bit of a shakedown, although it's not supposed to rain this time, of course. So we'll have to find out at a future date if the, if the repair will work. Maybe I'll go take a garden hose and spray it over it. But anyway, like I said, I shot this whole thing of me putting my stuff away in the in the trailer again me to go camping for two weeks in this trailer because it's more or less ready to go involved putting coffee a package of hot links some salad and a couple changes of skivvies and then in the trailer and hitching that up yeah i went into some stuff this is going to be a shakedown cruise for jay and kate's new forest river rv same time gave you kind of an update before part two drops which again, we had torrential downpours. That's why Jay and Kate were like, yeah, we're getting an RV for sure. Just after hanging out in this little guy a little bit. Since I dropped the window video, I've resealed one more window. I'm gonna be waiting. I need to order some more of the, 
the butyl tape to, to get that done. But anyway, I'm trying to conclude this video. We're set up my, again, my clothes, a couple snacks, that sort of thing. We're going to two nights to, I think it's Fort Stevens. It's down by Astoria. Anyway, Mike, if you see this video, I hope on hope to edit it today. But Mike, feel free to give me a, a ring and pop in. One of my favorite tractor video guys who I used to work with. Super good YouTube channel. And like I said, I just hope you appreciate the marginal content. You keep watching. I am really trying to improve, which I know the low level that I am, that bar is not high. So stick around. Things, at least they can't get any worse, right? Uh, my out of focus, non-linear storytelling, whatever, what are you gonna do? It's free content. You get to watch me do dumb stuff. This is for you, Buck. I'll move over here out of the way. So Buck recently published a video about crossing your safety chains. And I do occasionally, I wouldn't say it as a rule. But in case she breaks free, there you go. You're home for an hour. I was just videotaping. You're in the video now. You broke into the set. I did not grab the spices and stuff. I can take those out.